Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. The War Dog Memorial was initially set up as a cemetery for the War Dogs. It was established at Assen Beach, um, just inland from the Invasion Beach itself. Um, the reason they were buried is because all War Dogs are Marines. These are United States Marine Corps um, War Dogs that are, they have jackets, they have personnel files, they uh, cannot be awarded medals, but they are uh, given the rights of burial as a Marine, just as a Marine would be. Um, Dogs for Defense was formed in January 1942. The American Kennel Club got on board, started soliciting dogs to be uh, trained for defense. They brought in some folks from, the, from Germany that had actually been in, in the German Armed Forces in World War I. And they came in and started helping to train our handlers. And by the time the Marines got involved, it wasn't until 1943 when they started their war dog training, and by 44, the first dogs were sent out, first war dog platoon um, came out in uh, 44 early, and then in, in later in 44, they went to Guadalcanal, second and third war dog platoons. This was their first real combat experience here on the island of Guam, and uh, they're actually credited with um, saving the lives of hundreds of Marines here. Because they were out in front of the men, and they were always patrolling in front, some of these dogs could pick up scents up to a half mile away. As the Japanese started coming over the hillside and into the American positions, the dogs alerted first and told the Marines not only that the Japanese were coming, but because of where they were pointing, the direction of the attack was going to emerge from. And that saved a lot of American lives as well. Uh, the first dog that was buried was Kurt, or the first name on the marker, and Kurt was uh, killed as a, uh, a scout dog in front of the troops with one of the Marines as his handler. The handler was wounded. Uh, Kurt received a piece of shrapnel to his back. They tried to save his life, uh, but during the night he passed away and was buried the next day. And so initially the War Dog Cemetery was established at Assen Beach. So as their losses compounded, the War Dog Cemetery filled up just as the cemetery next to it, the 3rd Marine Division Cemetery, filled up. The War Dogs were disinterred and moved up to the village of Jigo, kind of on the Dededo Jigo border. And unfortunately, People had forgotten about the cemetery. It was in disarray. Nobody was cutting the grass. Um, some of the markers were toppled. It was a visit by uh, Lieutenant William Putney, retired, who had came back to the islands. Putney drove this uh, as a personal mission. He was the lead officer of the War Dog Platoon. He was a veterinarian, uh, had been a veterinarian his whole life. So he went and started soliciting uh, information on what he had to do to move the War Dog Cemetery. And United States Naval Base Guam offered this place. And in 1994, the dogs were moved here, put into this great facility, and the, the sculpture was put up. It's not only the role and remembering the role, it's also remembering that tie between the handler and the dog. Um, and this is what the handler would have wanted, and with, this is why this was established. Putney and the handler who, when Kurt died, they really wanted to make sure that there was an area set aside for those dogs. Uh, this was a chance for the handler to gain closure as well. Um, an, a beloved animal, somebody who they were very, very close to, had trained day in and day out with, had traveled around the world with, had lowered over the ship, you know, in a harness down into a boat and then rushed ashore. Um, and so these were very close relations between the dog and the handler that for the handler to gain closure, he had to have the ability to mourn. Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it. <laughs>